I've been using these two rulers to square up my blocks because I keep forgetting to buy a larger square up ruler. Um, it works, uh, it's just clunky because each time you go to square up your block, you have to pick up two rulers, put your block down, and then you've got to arrange two rulers. And it's just a bit much. Luckily, I had a little revelation and I want to share it with you. This ruler grip has been laying around my craft room for a couple months, unused. Um, not because it doesn't work, but just because I keep forgetting it's there. Uh, it, it works really good. It's got some really great grippers and um, it's comfortable to use. I just keep forgetting it's there. Anyway, I got to wondering if I could use it to connect two rulers together. Spoiler alert, it works, and it works really well, but you do have to pay attention to a couple things. First of all, you need to make sure that the top edge where your two rulers meet is flush, especially if you're going to be cutting along this side, which I am, because I'm squaring up like so. So I want this to be perfectly flush, and you can use your finger, but because your finger is squishy, it has a little give, and sometimes it's hard to get a perfectly flush edge. So you can bring in something with a flat edge and do it that way. Or if you have a setup like mine, you can just push it all the way up here and use the wall to get a perfectly flush um, edge. Number two is when you are placing your ruler grip, you want to pay attention to the lines that you want to use. So in this case, I'm squaring these up to six and a half. So I want to make sure that I do not cover that line or the six and a half line here. So you want to be very uh, cognizant of where you're placing it. You want to be very strategic. Another thing that I'm going to do since I'm using these to square up is I'm going to pay a lot of attention to my 45 degree angle line. So I want it to go continue from one edge to the other. So for instance, I wouldn't want to connect them this way because the 45 degree line gets lost here. But if I turn the ruler around, it'll continue from corner to corner. So that's really great. I instantly have a 12 by 12 square up ruler just by connecting these. So the way that this ruler grip works is you want to lift these to disengage the suction grip. Then you'll carefully place it on your rulers. I like to try to get it even if possible, evenly spaced on both rulers. That really depends on where your cutting lines are, right? And then you, uh, <laughs> this takes a little muscle. You push this back down to re-engage the suction grip. And then voila, you've got a 12 by 12 ruler. I do want to point out that when you pick up and move your connected rulers, they'll come a little out of joint right along here around the edges. But when you put it back down, everything realigns and your rulers are flush again. And this hack doesn't just work for square up rulers. That's right, you can mix and match rulers. So maybe you don't have a super long ruler and you have a couple shorter ones like this. You could put those together like that. Or if you're like me and you don't like to use the lines on your cutting mat, you could definitely use your long ruler with your shorter ruler to get wider cuts. And you could do it this way, or you could do it this way. But you will want to experiment with how you connect them. For instance, I don't think a diagonal connection for mismatched rulers works as well as um, a horizontal connection. So that's just something to mess around with to find what you like best. But I can see this being so helpful. It's more than doubled my ruler collection. As of recording this video, this exact ruler grip is about $11, and the ruler that the square up ruler I was planning on getting is somewhere around $25 to $30. So, this is a rare scenario where my forgetfulness has actually saved me money. There's also a cute purple version of this carried at the Fat Quarter Shop if you want something just a little cuter for your craft room. I'll leave links down in my description below if you're interested in finding out more about this grip. Um, it's not a perfect solution but it is a money-saving, ruler-doubling solution, um, so I definitely recommend this. Let me know in the comments below if you've seen this hack before, because I can't possibly be the first person to think of this, and I'm really annoyed that nobody has told me before. 
So that's basically why I made this video. I'm spreading the knowledge um, that I wish that I had had sooner. Leave a comment down below if you found this video helpful or if you can think of other uses for this ruler grip tool. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you again real soon. Bye!